But again, why would you possibly be long Microsoft up here after a run from down here, right? It just doesn't make any sense. So everything that woke up today uh, woke up from the bottom channels. We talked about Square for the last couple of days continues to be strong. But look, look at the common denominator, right? Look where it's coming from. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well, crazy market, right? Uh, it didn't look like a lot was going on today, but that's the whole point. There wasn't supposed to be a lot today. Uh, if you look at the cues, uh, we talked about last night's video. You're not going to get really uh, a lot out of today's session. The Dow was down 400 points. Again, we really don't pay attention to the Dow a lot ago. Remember, it's only 30 stocks. Uh, the Nasdaq, you know, the cues were down a buck. Nasdaq composite down. Uh, 20 handles like we talked about last night. It, you know, it, it feels like the market just needs a little bit of rest. Ironically, the, the stock that I was um, thinking about shorting today, or you know, gap down, 50, like Tesla this morning, gap down 15 points. So there was actually no play in Tesla today. And then all of a sudden it woke up and just uh, did what Tesla does in a good market. But overall, the market's fine. And, th and this is kind of what really proves uh, the point, uh, especially to the new traders. The, the indexes are, are not there uh, to put you in a situation that you're going to fail or succeed because the Dow is up or down 400 points. It means absolutely nothing. Uh, you, you can see today, even though we had some weakness today in indexes and then some strength today in, in the in indexes, we kept on going back and forth, back and forth. The moral of the story is the stock that was strong, the stocks plural, that were strong are the names we were talking about, just coming out of the bottom channels uh, that we talked about last night, the night before. And that's kind of where your value is. Um, I really didn't um, I, I really didn't put myself in a situation that I was expecting anything today. Uh, like I said last night in the video, I, I didn't think it was going to be any enthusiastic. And what we talked about today at Morning Strategy is, look, you know, I ex expect nothing, right? Expect nothing. Uh, if you don't expect anything, you're not going to be disappointed. But slowly but surely, what's cool about you know this this market in general, especially uh, in the last two weeks and change that we've reclaimed the 50-day moving average, something will always fall into your lap. And that's kind of the point. As long as you are uh, prepared from the night before and don't have any you know unworldly expectations of what's supposed to be, then you're probably going to get you know you're probably going to get something that's going to fall into your lap that you're going to do well with. And again, we had our research. Again, we'll get to the. Uh, individual pivots in a second. We had our research. We knew what was tired. You know, we knew what was, uh, you know, pretty much in orbit. We kind of left those alone. And the most important part is, again, if you're going to be wrong, be wrong from down here. Don't be wrong from up here. And again, just ask anybody who got long micro. Again, my, we talked about this. Like, again, why would you possibly be long Microsoft up here after a run from down here, right? It just doesn't make any sense. So everything that woke up today uh, woke up from the bottom channels. We talked about Square for the last couple of days continues to be strong. But look look at the common denominator, right? Look where it's coming from, right? You had Roblox today. Again, look where it's coming from, right? It's not coming from up here. It's coming from the bottom channels here, right? Look at Shopify. Again, we'll get to the individual pivots uh, momentarily, but but look, it's the same common denominator over and over again. It's a rotation, right? When a bull market happens and they start reclaiming levels, it's not like they're sitting there and everything goes up at once and everything is tired at once and everything is kind of, in the clouds at once, they go up one by one by one by one. And when they all start getting above the 50 day moving average and they start building for a longer period of time, that's when you have your really uh, big aggressive uh, rallies. And, you know, kind of when you look at the tape today, um, again, you know, look at the spies, a little bit tired. Tomorrow, guys, pay attention to, again, it wasn't one of those, you know, destruction. Again, nobody's talking about destruction. But keep an eye on this area here on the spies. If you can see here, the low from July the 29th is uh, 406.77. Today's low is 406.82. You see that? So if, if spy tomorrow, they start losing, you know, and again, we just want to make sure everybody's ready to trade on both sides of the market. If the spies start losing tomorrow this uh, 406.77 level, yeah, I mean, listen, is it possible... Uh, to get down to this 401, 402. Sure, absolutely. And the market will still be fine because again, this the market commands that 
a digestion period takes place. Again, we, we can't go straight up. We talked about this now. Uh, this is now the second night in a row that we're talking about this. You, you need a little bit of rest. It's just organic. You, you just don't want to have the scenario that even the biggest bulls, like I mentioned last night, uh, are going to turn around and say, this is too much, too fast. I, I don't want to be long, right? You don't want that. So you want uh, two, three days up. You want one day down. You want one day sideways. More stock is getting above their channels into supply and kind of rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. So watch tomorrow, just in case we start pulling down uh, this 406.77 area on the spies. Keep an eye on this thing for a potential, uh, you know, trade down, uh, trade down to the 10-day moving average on the IWM. Uh, you kind of have a little bit of different scenario. This is a scenario the IWM has just actually been really, really strong. You have, uh, you know, a number of days above the 50-day moving average and it's just putting in uh, higher lows. And you can see how, how it hugged uh, the five-day moving average. Again, the smaller names are really, really strong. Again, somebody, you know, if you ever ask the question, is this a dead cat bounce versus uh, versus a rally? Well, let me let me show you this, right? So for all you guys who haven't seen this, and I, I really st realistically started start seeing it today. There's a stock HKD, right? It's stock basically went from like 50 bucks to 2,500. It's not, a, it's not a misprint. It literally in four days has gone from like 100 to 2,500 bucks. If this is what you're focusing on, you're, you're missing, you are missing so the point of, of what trading is. Um, it, first of all, this stock at some point was trading two, $300, $400 spread. So basically, if you bought one little share, you're down 400 bucks as soon as you, you put on the trade. Again, guys, you're wasting your time. It's cool, it looks great, it's a great conversational piece at the next party. No trader is looking at this. You know, again, when I'm looking at a stock and I'm, and I'm looking at a stock, for example, like a Workday, right? Like I, Workday was a little too thin for me. Workday ran up about $1.60, $1.70, and it was a little too thin for me. So picture what you're, th and this is Workday, a NASDAQ 100 company. Picture what you're doing with this, a stock that's trading at a three, $400 spread, not a $30, 30 cent spread, not a dollar spread, a $400 spread. Look, if you wanna gamble, download the DraftKings app. Look, they give you money for signing up. They match your, you know, they match your deposit. At least bet on sports, man. At least you got a 50-50 shot. What, what you're doing is call it what you want. You wanna call it trading? Okay, right? Okay, you can put lipstick on a pig. Still a pig. Anyway, back to normal life, right? So back to normal life, NASDAQ 100. Uh, NASDAQ 100 has exactly the same thing uh, kind of happening here with the spies. You can see here, it touched the five day moving average and it kind of held. It gets, I don't want to, again, I don't want to make it dramatic, so I won't. Um, but if the NASDAQ 100 tomorrow starts losing 1184, yeah, I mean, there's a trade there, right? There's a trade back to the 10 day moving average. But the coolest part about uh, today's session was even when the, the market was red, you know, a lot of the morning, right? And you saw you know, some put buying coming in. The coolest part about it is that these stocks are so strong that they came out of the channels on their own two feet and it didn't really make a difference uh, what the market did, right? Quote unquote, the market did. It's all about the individual stocks. Remember, the stock market is a thing of the past, right? Now for the last five, 10 years or so, now it's more a market full of stocks. And again, individual stocks, we're just using the indexes uh, as a guideline. So tomorrow, again, you know, I'm not really loving anything on the short side. I mean, can the market come in? It, it could, right? It absolutely could. But again, you know, I think there's so much opportunity still on the long side because there is no fear. Think about it. what do you need for the market to go down? You need fear, right? You need fear, you need a catalyst. Well, we had a catalyst, so it's earnings season, predominantly majority of the, the, the tech earnings already reported, and most of them missed their numbers and still went higher. So that's bullish, right? So you're not gonna get, you know, you're not gonna get the market down on, uh, on a catalyst. You're not gonna get the market down on fear because again, as long as people are buying one share of a stock with a $400 spread, what fear are we talking about here, right? So, uh, you know, look, I, I think this is a scenario, you know, trade whatever comes to you, you know, don't put a lot of, you know, don't put a lot of, um, uh, you know, a lot of pressure on yourself that you have to do something every single day. There's still a lot of good value plays out there. The most important part, you know, some days you'll get one trade, sometimes you get 10, but again, remember the key, and this is the most important part, it's not how many trade, it's how many you trade properly. So let's talk about the day. Um, I forgot to put a couple of pivots on the feed. This is from last night's uh, last night's watch list. Uh, Shopify 
I forgot to put it on the Twitter feed. That was the only reason I'm talking about it. Uh, Shopify 3745 needs to build. Um, you know, nice move, went up about a dollar or so. Uh, they're coming for the $40 calls. Look, if this thing starts building above 39 tomorrow, I think there's a shot at this 4068 level. I really still like Shopify. This is the highest close in this whole formation. Not a big move, but you know, it is what it is here. Uh, there was a two-sided play on Tesla today, 905 to the upside, 885 to the downside. But since Tesla gapped down like 15, uh, that trade was done. BTTX, I think, I don't know, I think it went down like 20% today. I don't even think it went up there. PayPal, nice report after the close. Uh, obviously didn't trigger uh, in the course of the regular session, but PayPal reported pretty good quarter, right? Pretty good quarter. And obviously the market gods are uh, helping it's out uh, square 7905 needs to build here was square took out the 7905 area traded almost to uh, 83 bucks really really big big move on square uh, traded 81 to the regular session so still a really nice move on square there uh, workday again a little bit too thin for me but 156.20 uh, needs to build here was workday it took out the 56.20 went up you know went up like a dollar fifty nothing big there as well and those here's the rest of the pivots uh roblox 4583 needs to build nice little move on roblox nothing crazy but nice move so here's the 4583 it took out this whole channel traded right to supply here at 4720 we talked about 4720 4730 uh as measured potential uh overstock obviously paypal never triggered it's up a lot today after the close overstock never triggered tesla again 896 for a possible build to 905 not only did that come you know build it went all the way up into the 920s and i said look stay very patient today remember we trade because there's value not because the market is open that's the key that's that's the way to kind of buy time here uh workday takes some sales on the uh, excuse me uh, rblx takes some sales on the way up here was workday like i said here before uh take on the way up always guys always take money on the way up uh, shop uh, keep a type runner. We might get a push to uh, 40 tomorrow. And Google, I still like uh, that hasn't uh, triggered. So look, I, look, the market is, you know, no news is good news, right? After the close, you know, you had some earnings. Uh, look, AMD had a phenomenal, phenomenal run. Does it really even matter uh, that it's down four bucks after the close? Look at the run AMD had. A really, really nice move on AMD. And today's just a little bit of profit taking. You got Starbucks. Uh, coming out with earnings. I'm not saying I'm totally responsible for Starbucks earnings, but I do contribute quite often. Uh, you had Uber, right? You had Uber today, right? You had Uber today with a nice quarter there as well. Uh, SoFi, SoFi had a nice quarter there as well. You got Gilead, nothing really on Gilead. So that's it. Oh, and Airbnb. Uh, Airbnb, again, same type of situation as um same type of situation as amd it had a big run you could see the run it had really really big run uh it's you know getting smacked here after the close but ironically the price here is still higher than the whole range here where it came out of so again go, good bullish market so far well so far continues uh the most important part is guys you know trade eyes wide open don't trade with the blinders on uh, again, don't chase stocks. Don't obviously trade stocks. Do I even have to say it? Don't trade stocks with $300 spread. Sometimes some people need to hear it. All right, guys, that's it. God bless everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. Tomorrow's another day. Some pretty good value on top. And hopefully everybody will do well. Guys, have a great night. I'll see you tomorrow.